I don't like the fact that America is bearing the brunt and the burden of financing most of the war against Putin and Ukraine. I think we agree on that part. Why isn't Europe, why don't they ever step up and defend their own continent before they ask for U.S. involvement? And why would Joe Biden veto Poland giving Zelensky fighter jets to actually fight to win the war after they were invaded? Well, the more disturbing thing is that uh, on two occasions, the Russians tried to sign a peace agreement with Zelensky. Do you trust Putin? Do I trust Putin? No, but that's not... I don't, listen, I, I, I've uh, litigated over 500 lawsuits. All of them end up with... Or many of them end up with settlements or one or the other. And he never trusts the guy on the other side. Uh, you use language art, and you use the design of agreements. So Ukraine, to, to appease Putin, uh, Putin, rather, who I think is evil, they've already given up Crimea. It was annexed. So what, they, now they have to give up the Donbass area? Well, I, you know, they, Ukraine, because of our pushing the Ukraine into the war, on two occasions, they, they, uh, in... We, we pushed them into it, or did Putin... Well, let me made... tell you. Let me, let me answer your question. Yeah. In 2019, France, Germany, and Russia all agreed to the Minsk Accords. That year, Zelensky ran for president. He was a comedian. He had no political experience. Why did he win? Because he, he won, ran on one issue, signing the Minsk Accords. As soon as he got in there, Victoria Nuland and the White House told him he couldn't do it. That... Putin sends 40,000 troops in. That's not enough to conquer the country. Clearly, he wanted us to come to the negotiation. He wanted somebody to come to the negotiating table. Zelensky came to the negotiating table, signed a new agreement that was the Minsk Accords II in 2022, and that would have allowed Donbass to stay, and Lugansk, to stay to remain as part of, of Ukraine. We said Putin signed it, Zelensky initialed it, and Putin, in good faith, began withdrawing troops from the Ukraine. What happened? We sent Boris Johnson over there to torpedo it, because we don't want peace with... We want the war with Russia. What... Have, what have, why are you blaming America's role in this? And, and uh, look, I, I am... Putin, to me, is an evil, murdering dictator thug, and when he leaves this earth, nobody's going to miss him. Let's be honest. Um, however, I think that Europe has a responsibility to protect their continent, and yet it always seems to fall in the United States. Joe Biden has committed all these t billions of dollars that we can't afford, and he's not fighting the war to win the war. I don't believe in fighting wars half-assed. If you're going to fight a war, you go in, overwhelming force, you beat them, you get the hell out. That's it. And only if it's provoked. Putin did not need to invade in, in a sovereign country, in my view. Is Zelensky perfect? Nope. I don't think he is either. I agree with you on that part. But America's role, I think, should be dictated first by Europe, and they've got to defend their continent. And they haven't stepped up, in my view. Yeah, I mean... I, I, I don't think most of the European countries wanted the war either. They, we, it's clear what happened, which is that, you know, from the beginning, we promised in 1992... The Russian leadership said, we will move... This was Gorbachev. Said, when the, when the Soviet Union... He was getting ready to dismantle the Soviet Union, and he said, we're going to allow you... We're going to withdraw 400,000 troops from, Germany, from East Germany, and we're going to allow you to reunite Germany under NATO, which is a hostile army. That's a huge concession for them. The one commitment that we want, is what the Russians said, is that you will not move NATO to the east. James Baker, who was then Secretary of State under Bush, famously promised, we will not move NATO one inch to the east. Well, since then, we've moved it 1,000 miles in 14 countries. Now, when we started that plan in 1997, Bill Perry, who was the Secretary of Defense under Clinton, said to the Clinton administration, if you move NATO to the east, I'm resigning because you are forcing the Russians to come to war with us. George Kennan, who's the most important diplomat in American history, the architect of the containment policy during World War II, said the same thing. You do not need to make an, a, 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 an enemy out of Russia. Russia should be treated the way... We won the Cold it gets, War. It gets complex. Let me ask you a question. China's been showing nothing but hostility. COVID, uh, intellectual property theft, 
uh, unfair trade practices. They've been confronting our Navy ships uh, in international waterways. They've been confronting our fighter jets in international airways. They had the spy drone go fly all around the country. No, Joe didn't shoot it down. Uh, they threatened to shoot hypersonic missiles at the U.S. They're threatening to take out Taiwan and take over Taiwan. They call it reunification. Uh, if you're president, would you come to the defense of Taiwan, our ally? Well, no, no, president, no presidential candidate with any prudence would answer that question. Our, 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 uh, our, our, policy, our policy towards Taiwan is strategic ambiguity, and that makes a lot of sense. You don't want to project your enemy what you're going to do in, in a certain case or embolden your friends to go to war thinking that you're going to support them. So that's been our policy, and it's a sensible policy. Do you see policy. China as our top geopolitical foe? They're also trying yes. to undermine the U.S. dollar. Yes. You do. Yeah, and, and that's why, that is one, that's another reason why the war in Ukraine is insane, because we have pushed China into the strategic... Do Donald Trump said... He could resolve the issue. Could you, do you think you can create a peace agreement between Ukraine and Russia? I think we have to, there's no joint, Russia's not gonna lose this war. Russia can't afford, this would be like us losing a war to Mexico. They're not, they are not gonna lose the war. Go look at what Russia did in Stalingrad in order to preserve its, its territorial integrity. Russia's been invaded three times through the Ukraine. Russia's been invaded three times through the Ukraine. The last time, Hitler killed one out of every seven Russians. They're 400 miles from Moscow. We already have Aegis missile systems within 12 minutes of Moscow. We wouldn't tolerate that if the Russians did it in 1962 when they put them in, in Cuba. Cuba. My uncle was going to invade if they... If they I want to talk out. a little bit about your background growing up, your uncle as president, uh, what happened to him, what happened to your dad. He was the attorney general. Uh, and what you think about how what how those things happen. More with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as Hannity continues. Please stay with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.